All right, by now y'all should know when I find dopeness, I share it with you guys ASAP. I just found dopeness in its purest form. So look, Samsung just dropped a new app. It's called Good Lock. It actually was on my phone already. I got the Note 5. You see the, the blip? Look at the blip of the pin. It's right here. Um, so I got the Note 5. Um, it was already on there. I just went and I updated it and I just noticed what it was. But supposedly it's on the S7s. Um, and any other phone that's getting Marshmallow, I'm assuming it's going to have this. Now, it's called Good Lock. But, man, this, this shit is phenomenal. Excuse my language. Um, and it's not just the lock screen. It is your lock screen. It is your notification panel. And it is your recent apps, uh, I guess, portion of the phone. So... Let's just go ahead and get into the lock screen. I've been playing with it. I got it set up. I love everything about it. Let's go. And I'm gonna try to keep this short, but it's so much to cover and I'm gonna cover it. I'm trying to get it under 10 minutes. Uh, let's do it. So everything that you see now is something that I've created, organized and completely customized. Um, even down like, see, see the time? I put that there. I chose for that widget to be there. Um, you can put other widgets, but I chose this one. Also, these folders for my notifications is something that I've created as well. Um, as far as like my tech folder, anytime I get news, it's in the tech side. I want it to come here. Um, anytime I have like ongoing notifications, like for instance, right now I'm recording my screen. That stuff is ongoing notifications, meaning that I can't swipe it away. I want that to be in a folder instead of just popping up on my notification panel um, in a form like the full form. So, and you can still, you know, you can still make them bigger or small. Give it the, you know. Uh, extended functions by using the two fingers to pull um, yeah so it's still fully functional uh, let's go in to the other side all the communication that I have as far as whatsapp my messages email Gmail, everything that comes through this communication like I've created folders for it and um, that's that portion also created. Um, also these right here the uh, the swiping pattern to go into like that's from the s4 uh, very similar to the s4 if not the same thing but I chose that option even these apps down here I've got them set to when I'm at home um, I'm gonna change that to my default eventually but right now when I'm at home this is what pops up so uh, yeah I chose all of these apps and it's even more I think you can choose up to 20 and even when you're in this panel you can edit those applications so if I wanted to move something around you know I can move whatever I want around um, I can also add new applications to it by using the add or I can go into the grid and change you know how many icons are in a grid I like the five it's easy to touch for my phone you know what I'm saying so um, yeah and even when you actually go in to use it like say if I just swipe it goes right into it so you do get that old functionality that you used to have um, also from here you uh, what else yeah I'm gonna show you nah let's back out because that's the that's the lock screen Lock screen is simple. That's everything from the lock screen. Let's go back into the actual main portion of the phone. Um, so this is how I use my phone. I always use it in landscape mode. My personal preference. I don't care what you say. Um, when I pull down from the top, those same categories still exist. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty simple. And I'm going to cover everything on this. And I'll try to do it quick. So forgive me if I'm speaking fast. Um, so pulling down with one finger pulls down the normal notification. This is Marshmallow, so when you pull down again, you have all the stuff that you used to have um, in the expanded notification panel, which is, this is the updated expanded notification panel. My brightness, um, auto brightness, I can actually fully go in and see all the Wi-Fi networks. Um, same thing with Bluetooth, I can see all the Bluetooth stuff that I've connected to. Uh, even with simple things like my data, if I go into my data, I can see how much data I've used and the limit, I pretty much set this myself to. Um, so all of that stuff still remains flashlight all of that stuff and you still can't do the two finger pull down where it automatically goes right into this so that's hot one thing that I love also there is the um, the S finder integration like say if I was to type good you know what I'm saying to go to a specific app there's the good lock app right there I can do a web search as well and you know being the S finder is a universal search if I take away the D you'll see applications and you see all my other Google apps as well uh, so application settings help web search all of that stuff is still there so that's a nice little quick way to get into stuff it won't be my primary way it's my secondary way 
primary is this for me. I use Nova Launcher. I can just slide right up. All my apps are right there. I can just type in whatever I want. Say if I did the same thing, good. Or if I did Google, all the stuff that pops up right there, even my Google folder. Uh, and there's a Play Store link. So if I wanted to search something on the Play Store, I just open it up. I can just tap that and it takes me right into the Play Store for it. So it goes really good in conjunction with this because I'm a productivity based person and I love it. So back to the notification panel. Um, these folders are folders that I've actually created. How do you create folders? It's the simplest thing in the world. All you do is just tap like an icon. Um, like say if I have a notification that comes through, excuse me. If I have this notification, if I wanted to create a folder from right here or put something in a folder, we long press. That's like the universal shortcut for editing on Android. Um, so when I long press that, you'll see that first option. If you follow the blip of the pen, top right corner right now, that is going to create a new folder. This is going to remove it from that folder. And these are the folders that, folders that I've created, tech, communication, ongoing. So far, that's what I have. Uh, and they're also set by the letter, so I automatically know TCO. I know what those are because I set them. Um, so if I wanted to put something in a folder, I can just tap that. Also, if I wanted to see info on the application, like for instance, uh, if I tap it, you'll see the info and app notifications. I can choose how I want it to respond. Um, so you have all that functionality right there. Let's go back into it. And uh, the other things that I have is if I wanted to be reminded about this notification up here, I can hit after 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. I can choose the reminder or I can just block the app's notifications entirely from right there. So real nice. I'm loving this so far. Let's uh, go back now. So you have these things called keep. With keep, let's say if I didn't want this notification, um, I can just swipe right out. And you see how the keep is kind of, you know, uh, it's got the animation going on. It's moving around. That's letting me know that there's a new notification in Keep. So if I go in there, I see the same thing. And if I go back out, you see how it's not moving. So from Keep, I can completely swipe out and that's gonna get rid of the notification uh, period. But I want this to go back into my tech folder. So, um, well, it's not gonna do it. But when you designate something to go into a specific folder, anytime you get that notification, it will go into that folder. So it's awesome in that regards. Uh, can't talk today. It's awesome in that regard. I'm trying to speak quickly so I can get this video done in under 10 minutes. So, um, yeah. Now, that's the keep folder, the all folder, how the notifications work, and that's the lock screen and the notification panel. Now, my favorite is the recent apps drawer because I'm a landscape user most of the time. Um, I like the widescreen 16 by 9 or whatever. So, when I tap my recent apps button, this is what it looks like. Once again, those are the apps in the right that I've actually designated to be uh, the apps that are always there. Also to the left are my recent apps, the ones that I've recently went to. Um, yeah, only thing that I don't like about this is I can't swipe to get rid of a notification. Like right now I'm trying to swipe to get rid of this app the notifications right here. Um, recent app and it's not working. I have to physically use the X. Uh, and I don't like the way that it goes down when I do like the animation. It kind of throws me off. So. What I want to show you guys, I'm going to show you a couple, uh, I'm going to open a couple apps just so you can see. Uh, let's do Play Store. We'll do, let's do, 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 do. trying to keep this simple. So I want you to see how it looks when you actually scroll. So I really love the way that it looks. Um, and you also have functionality from here. Those are my recent apps icons that have the, uh, it's showing me which ones can I, I can do multi-window on. So say if I wanted to do multi-window with the Play Store and um, I guess, uh, let's see, Appy Geek. Simple, shortcuts. Also, if you long press, I still can't talk. If you long press, you can, um, you know, do the pop-out window. So I love that. And this panel, I've got all the stuff that I can do pop-out window on as well. So, you know, it's definitely hot in my book. But uh, the reason why I like this for the landscape users instead of vertical mode is because when I'm in vertical, I still have the same setup, you know, with all my uh, recent apps or whatever. And I can't stand hitting these. It's just weird. Like, I don't, the three moving down is weird. Just, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I have to precisely hit it for it to work. So, Samsung, you guys can improve on that one. Just make it a swipe. And, you know, if we want to use the X, we can. Give us options. But uh, I love it so far. But with this, I can see my setup right here in the bottom left that says home, so I know what it is, you know, already, and I still have access to the apps. But the only thing I don't like is for me to, you know, do the pop-out window. I can't just long press it. I have to uh, drag out this menu, um, whether you tap it or pull it. You can do both. 
but you have to drag out this menu and then you can do the recent apps or pop out window and you can still edit from here you can add more you can change the grid once again and uh, yeah so you still have that functionality right from there it's awesome it's kind of like edge features on the side of the device um, yeah uh, so those are those three settings now what I want to show you guys is how to customize it I'm trying to go quick uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the two finger pull down and right here is my um, good lock settings so I can choose the different routines like I can choose whatever I want it so say with my nonsense routine um, I name it I can choose uh, what location it actually shows up in um, you can choose like everywhere or type in the location if you wanted to you can choose the time or choose all day uh, you can also choose what widget um, style your clock has if you want physical words whatever you want you know you get to pretty much choose it out of these six um, you can choose what quick settings you want to show up and you can choose the color now when you choose color like oh man like there's so many different levels of the colors those were all of them like it's not just one set of red or one set of blue like it goes on for a long time so that's nice and one thing that I actually like about it let's see if I can get to the brighter colors this color right here is the main color but when you look down here these are like the derived colors so my text is going to be this color my background is that color that little thing that's behind the text is that color and the uh, selecting uh, the thing to show what's in the selection is that color so you physically get to choose exactly what you want it to be you can choose what you want to show on your actual lock screen um, hence good lock uh, widgets, notifications, apps, trace. So if you don't want something, just uncheck it. If you do want it, check it. And the pencil is always edit, so I can actually choose what widgets I like. Um, if I want to add, I simply just hit add. I can go in and choose which widgets that I do want. Let's see how much I can fit in landscape. Fill up this whole screen. Um, yeah, and you can also reorganize it if you want something higher than the other one or lower. You can you know choose whatever you want. Also. Uh, this is one of my favorite settings right here enable access to the secure lock screen well on the secure lock screen so if i wanted to be able to access that from the lock screen i just check that box or turn it on right now it's off to the right is on so i want to be able to fully use those from the lock screen so i turned them on um yeah next you got your app straight this is where you physically choose what apps that you wanted to show up all you do is just hit add it pulls up every app on your device and you just go in and you choose whatever you want you can choose the grid again from here uh, hit save once you're done and finish and pretty much that's your setup uh, for that um, Routine is what they call it and you can always go create a new one or change the default. That's what I'm gonna make home I just like default um, And you can actually go into the lock screen. Let's go back horizontal uh, And you can enable your colored uh, wallpaper by default that wasn't set up. So mine looked like this. Let's see what happens I didn't like that. I was like, why isn't it the same color as my uh, device? And then once I went in, oh wow, <laughs> I got to go back. But it's simple. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bam. Um, yeah, it's like I wanted to be like mine. And once I tapped that, it was the same color. And that's how I got that green on there. So hotness in its purest form. Wish it would have stayed like that. But uh, yeah, you can also set the effect right here. There's a bunch of different effects. Um, I guess I'll go through them for the people who can't do this right now. None is nothing. It's not going to look like that landscape with the sun and mountains. Uh, popping color was the default. So let's go ahead and check out popping color. Yeah, so basically that's what you're going to see when you swipe. I ain't want no bubbles on my stuff. Uh, next, you got rectangle traveler. Kind of interesting I can dig that one you know what I'm saying I like shapes other than circles um, bouncing color I feel like I've seen a lot of these before well some of these before um, doo -doo 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 -doo. go back up it's kind of like the uh, the other one but they actually bounce around so it's kind of cool and if you hold it it just skeets out a bunch of <laughs> uh, anyway so next we got blinds I kind of liked it this one but I didn't uh, well kind of like this one but it didn't I don't feel like it entirely executed the way I like it, so I didn't choose it. Um, it's kind of cool, but it didn't fade out right. Anyway, so next you got lens flare. Reminds me of the good old S4 days. So this is what I use. Um, hotness. So yeah, I think that's literally everything from this. Um, 
man, I love it. I feel like I got a brand new phone. First, Marshmallow came, and then I found out about the uh, the People Edge and Apps Edge, um, and now I got Good Lock. Oh man, it's a new phone. My Note Five is champ. But anyway, um, yeah, if you have the new phones, definitely download this. It gives you so much functionality. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna put these in. Uh, yeah, I'm putting these into my ongoing folders. Well, folder. I'm putting these into my ongoing folder. Oh, wrong folder. Let's go into communication and get that out. And we'll do ongoing. Bam. Keep that crap out of here. All right. So yeah. Um. There you have it, man. Uh. This is hot hotness man oh anyway so any questions leave them in the comment box uh if you like the video like subscribe whatever anytime i find dopeness man i share it with you guys so yeah till next time